Hey everybody, it's Amber, your girl from Texas. I am so excited to be here today. I hope you guys are just as busy as I am getting this money, getting your business going, getting your knowledge in your uh, field, your skill, hoping that you guys are staying booked and busy as I am. So with that being said, I've got another video for you today that is going to surely give you a boost in your loan signing business or journey. So if you are just joining me and you're seeing me for the first time, hello, let me introduce myself again. My name is Amber. I um, am an entrepreneur in Texas, and I have been working and uh, running my successful business as a loan signing agent and notary. So my channel is all about uh, empowering others and helping them to grow their business through uh, teaching the things that I've gone through or just teaching um, some of the uh, things that helped me uh, get to the next level in my um, experiences or in loan signing. In this video today, we're going to go over some notary tips. So I decided to start a new series um, with my YouTube and I'll be posting some silly videos, funny, uh, you know, things on TikTok that have to do with it as well. But mostly I'll be posting notary tips. I'll be posting about four to five notary tips at a time in each video. These tips are tips that are essential to growing your notary business, keeping those uh, direct clients, getting those direct clients, and most of all, just being a professional notary in general. And so everything that I talk about in these steps or in these videos, I've done myself or am currently doing and will continue to do uh, because it works. I haven't gotten any uh, negative review. I have only gotten compliments and rave reviews, actually. So stay tuned. I will see you guys after the intro. All right, thanks for coming back. So, loan signing agent and notary. So, to be a loan signing agent, you have to first become a notary. And so, you can follow one of my other videos and research how to become a notary in your state um, first and take the necessary uh, certification test or whatever was, is required in your state. After you do that, then I recommend you take a training course for loan signing. Um, because it is imperative that you understand the documents, you understand how to walk clients through the package, um, and it just makes for an overall comfortable appointment. All right, so I've got my tips written down here that I want to go over with you guys today. It is four, so the fabulous four. All right, so my number one loan signing agent tip is to, guys, always answer your phone. No matter what you're doing, where you are, side note, yes, sometimes it does matter where you are, but for a majority of the time, you need to have your phone with you at all times because answering every call means there's money on the other side. I don't know about you, but I have a separate phone and a separate phone line just for my notary business so that I know anytime I get a notification, anytime that phone rings, I'm getting an offer. So um, I would definitely recommend that. I know a lot of notaries and other entrepreneurs keep their same phone. They just add like Google Voice or another service where they have a virtual phone number that goes to their same phone. Um, and that's fine for, you know, to each their own. But for me, I just like to separate the two and know that anytime because I screen my personal phone I'm not gonna lie just like many of y'all do I'm only answering you know mama's call my friends call school call a few people but if my work phone um, rings then I'm answering that right away every time and 95 percent of the time it is a signing it is a title company asking me to come do a signing or can I go to a client's home it is for general notary work and so, yeah, that's my number one tip, 
okay? So the only time I do not answer my phone is when I'm actually sitting down with another client at their signing. So um, I'll put my phone on vibrate and you know, I will glance at it. If it's a text, I can quickly swipe up yes or no, but if it's ringing a phone call, I just have to take that L because it is unprofessional to answer a phone call and have a conversation while you're in the appointment with another client. So no, that is the time I do not answer the phone. But yes, at home I answer it. I've been known by family members to jump out of the shower real quick uh, because I heard my phone going off. Um, you know, it's very comical at times, but the gist is, guys, answer that phone. The one thing I want to make a note about for those of you that do the Google Voice or um, have that other, or I can't remember the other service some we're talking about, but so some of those calls get dropped or don't come through. And that has been um, a major concern with a lot of people. Um, they'll say they never got the call or Google Voice first sends the whoever's calling like a message and it, you know it's kind of just puts off people don't want to wait around for Google to say this is a Google call who are you calling for they just want to call you right away get an answer boom done so that's just my two cents on there um, if you do do that again answer your personal phone at all times if you um, are trying to you know get out there and get as many signings as you can in the amount of time that you have um, scheduled on your calendar. All right, so tip number one, definitely. Uh, tip number two is for when you're beginning uh, your signing agent or loan signing agent journey, you will most, most likely be wanting to sign up with signing services and get work through them. So a signing service is a company where notaries sign up and the signing service, ha signing service has partnerships and relationships with direct title companies. Those title companies send the closings to the signing service and the signing service then blasts those offers out to all the notaries in the area that have signed up, okay? So it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. And especially now, the amount of notaries around is high. Doesn't mean it's not lucrative. Doesn't mean you can't grow. Doesn't mean that you can't be successful. You just have to know what to do to put yourself out there and stand above the rest and show them why they need you, okay? So here's what you do. After you've signed up with what is the recommendation, you all know 100 signing services. It takes the time, a little bit of time, but it's recommended and I also recommend that as well. After you've signed up with all of those signing services, after each one, you need to call them and introduce yourself. So when you do that, you ask them, after you say, hey, my name is Amber, I just wanted to introduce myself, let you know I'm signed up on your platform. I'm available for HELOC, refinance, um, you know, seller, buyer packages in the co zip codes of X, Y, and Z or in the counties of X, Y, and Z. I uh, travel this amount of miles. My I work, you know, eight to five or I'm 24 hours and I've done X amount of signings, error free. You just kind of sell yourself real quick and let them know that you're there, you're available. And then right then and there you say, and I also would like to know, do you have any signings in my area that I can help you with or that I can show you my work with? And sometimes they'll say, no, you know, not right now, but call back and that's fine. Call back, just like they said, but Guys, don't be surprised if when you start doing this, they'll say, oh yeah, got one over there on Thursday at 4.30, can you do it? Yes, you can. Put it on my schedule. Oh, I also have one on Sunday at 3. Sunday, do you want to work on Sunday or do you want to get you know, your foot in the door? If you do, take the signing and keep it moving, okay? So that is my second tip is with these signing services, Call and follow up. So if you've called and introduced yourself and you haven't heard anything in a week or two, call them again. Just say, hey, I'm just letting you know that I am available on these days. Do you have anything in my area? They will take notice of that or make a note in your account and they'll you'll get that work. All right. It might not be instant right away, but 
give it a week two weeks three weeks with following up and you'll start to see results so and this is guaranteed guys you know some signing agents who are not doing well honestly it's because they are not putting themselves out there they're not doing the legwork they sign up with signing services and then that's it they expect these people to just come find them and beg them to go to their closing when there's other signing agents like me and you out there calling letting them know I'm available here's my skills this is what I could do I'm professional I'm always on time so I'm just kinda giving you guys my two cents what i've learned what works for me the feedback that i've gotten from title title companies and signing services okay all right so tip number three is you know super important as well know your schedule all right it's very unprofessional to double book overbook and uh where it's causing you to run late or rush your clients okay so I'm all for being booked and busy, but I'm also professional and I am not trying to burn any bridges with these title companies and put a bad taste in their mouth or have the customer go complain that I was an hour late or I rushed them and just, you know, did the point and sign, point and sign, didn't explain anything. I am not for that. So when you get called and I know you have literally a split second to uh, accept these signings. You need to already have a, a, a system in place to kind of know your schedule, to know if you can accept these or not. All right, so there is a little bit of um, wiggle room with some signing services like Inspire and Mortgage Connect. They do allow you to kind of call and negotiate a time with the client. But other than that, other signing services and title companies, I do not recommend taking six seven signings and then you have to go call all of the clients and reschedule everybody to fit your schedule you don't want to do that the whole point of the mobile notary or the loan signing agent that is mobile is to cater to the client and their time and what they need all right so when i say don't overbook yourself i mean do not take three signings all at two in this tell you know two of the clients I'll get there at one and then run late and get the next that's not a good look on you it might work out that day but I'm going to tell you that it can catch up to you and some of these clients uh, these title companies ask feedback from their customers and clients how did the notary do did they do this do they did they do that and when they say oh she was rushing me she was late she seemed unorganized guys it's 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 all gonna fall back on you so if you want to remain professional you want to remain in demand to um, have those higher fees then you want to be a person that is on time you're not rushing the client and you kind of know your schedule all right so yes am I gonna say there's times where you are gonna be you, you're gonna you're gonna be late sometimes that's okay but what I mean is like guys you know what I mean don't just take a bunch of signings and knowing good and well you don't have time to do all of those all right on the flip side of that these signing services take note of when you accept signings and then ask them to get reassigned or no show that's a good way to get yourself blacklisted and not get called again all right all right so that's my tip number three all right tip number four all right, so when you're starting out or even if you're seasoned, every single day is not going to be fully booked or uh, purposely not fully booked. For me, I purposely don't fully book myself every day because the reason why I started this was to have free time, to be stress-free, and to kind of do things on my own time. So on my slow days, and I recommend this for you as well, if there's a day where you only have two signings instead of four or five, I need you to use that time to build up your confidence and go marketing directly to these title companies and escrow officers. Okay, make it a goal to market maybe one or two a week or one on this day, two on this day. All right, start making those goals and doing them that is really the ultimate goal here is um, 
to have more direct clients. And as I've said in my videos before, direct clients, the pros of that are higher pay. You don't have to share the, the fee with the signing service. You are going to get paid quicker typically the same day, next day, or within two weeks because they just mail you a check. You don't have to print documents. They already have the documents there. So what does that do? That saves you on your toner and your paper. All right. And also, gas. If you get three signings at the same title office a day, you're not having to drive here, there, every which where and put wear and tear on your car and you're not having to um, uh, use that gas okay so direct market on your slow days when you can and by what that means is go to your signing make yourself all professional and ready to go and go present yourself and introduce yourself hand out your business card hand out your goodie bag let them know what your services are, why they need you, how you can benefit them, and then go to the next one. Follow up with an email or a call the next day. It was a pleasure, and you say something like this. It was a pleasure meeting you on yesterday. Um, thank you for allowing me to introduce myself. I just wanted to let you know that I'm available on X, Y, and Z in these counties, and please call me anytime. Simple as that. Follow up with that on an email, phone call. Personally, I like to call uh, and email. Um, and so um, you don't want to bug them too much, but you go introduce yourself and then you wait a day or two and then you follow up and then put them in the rotation of every two weeks to just drop, pop in, take them some cookies, leave your cards again. If they still don't use you, wait another week or two, pop in, bring them some donuts. Okay, eventually, I'm telling you, this is what I do. Uh, if you've been following me on TikTok, I just landed a, um, a contractor a builder this way because why? I was persistent. I didn't bug them to the point of where I was annoying, but I just popped in and I didn't, you know, talk for, you know, a long 30 minutes. I just said, hey, it's me, Amber, just popping in. I've been doing signings down the street. Let me just, I just wanted to give you guys some donuts so you guys could have a great day. Or happy Monday or TGIF. Here's some gift cards to get some coffee or whatever. Okay, give them something. It doesn't have to be expensive. You can make something or you can just go pick up some cookies or donuts. Um, I'm telling you, they're always grateful. They're always looking for a snack. All right, so um, the last tip for today, notary tip number five or loan signing tip number five is when you are calling um, to confirm your appointment with your signers, you need to be saying what your conditions are um, for the appointment confirmation. Okay, uh, you don't just call and say, hey, I'm the notary. I'm coming on Thursday at three o'clock. See you then. Yes, that's like minimal information, but you need to prepare them for the meeting so that it can go smoothly and B, so A, so it can go smoothly and B, so that they are knowing what their the expectations are. So you would call and say something like this. Hi, my name is Amber. I'm the notary that's been assigned to your closing through Mortgage Connect. I understand that this is a refinance, so you and Mr. Morgan are required to be there for the signing. Is that correct? They'll say, yes, that's correct. And then you'll go into your spiel. Great, I can't wait to meet you. So a few things that I require for this signing to be completed are one or if it's two, two valid unexpired IDs. It can be a driver's license, an ID, a passport. Secondary ID can be a social security card, a um, bank statement or a utility bill, et cetera, et cetera, whatever you wanna say. Then you wanna go into your own safety uh, conditions, guys. I'm telling you, 
the things I tell you have happened. So you want to go into your COVID questions. All right, I just want to ask you, have you or anyone in the household been exposed to anyone with COVID? Or have you traveled outside of the U.S. within the past week or so? Okay, these, these questions are to protect you. I did have a couple a month ago say, yes, uh, we just came down with COVID. It's been a couple weeks, so we're kind of waiting on a negative result. And I was like, yeah, I think I am going to decline this because I am I don't feel comfortable. And I called the signing service and they were in agreement with me that they should not have um, followed through with that signing. So you ask whatever COVID safety questions you want to ask that make you feel comfortable with the appointment, guys. No fee is worth your health, okay? Not worth my health. I can pass on that 125, 150 however much the signing is and go to someone else or wait the next day and not have to get sick for three or four months from COVID. I'd rather do that. The next uh, thing you want to mention is if it's required of you and you want them to wear masks, let them know ahead of time. I require masks during this appointment. I'll be wearing one. Please wear one as well. Or I will be wearing one. It is up to you to wear one. Um, it is not required for you and just let them know. The last thing I want to say about conditions on making your appointment with your client is pets and animals. A lot of us don't think about that, but if you're allergic to pets or if you know that, you know, pets are unpredictable when they have, there is a, a, a strange person in their home, they sometimes can get aggressive. So if this is something that bothers you and you want to make it clear and known, you let them know, hey, if you have pets, please put them up for the duration of our signing. It should take 30 to 45 minutes. Or you can just let them know I'm allergic to cats. If you have any cats, please put them away. Um, things like that just so they're prepared. Um, I've read plenty of stories, and if you're on Facebook groups, you've heard some of these horror stories of animals attacking, chasing, biting, scratching legs. Guys, it is not that serious. You need to take control of your appointment, tell them your requirement. If they cannot meet that requirement, then leave. And, more, and I will tell you 10 times out of 10, they don't want to postpone that appointment or reschedule that appointment. So what are they going to do? They're going to follow your expectation and guidelines and put that pet away. Now, if the pets don't bother you, then don't say anything at all. I know a lot of pet people, it doesn't bother. They play with the pets as they're signing. That's them. Um, so just, you know, do what you're comfortable with, but let them know ahead of time. All right, guys, so those are my tips for the day. Let me go over them and review them one time. It's the teacher in me, guys. So tip number one, always answer your phone. Tip number two, after you signed up with a, with a signing service, call and introduce yourself, and then do a follow-up call and email a week or two later. Step number, I'm sorry, tip number three, know your schedule limit and don't overbook yourself. It is unprofessional. Tip number four, on your slow days, use that time to market directly to title escrow offices or even attorney offices. And last but not least, tip number five, explain your conditions for your notary or loan signing appointment so that everyone is um, ready and prepared and everything can go smoothly and that is how I get my signings done within 30 to 45 minutes because I've laid it out all right guys hopefully this was helpful to you hopefully you learned something hopefully um, this is going to push you further in your long signing journey if you have any questions or if you want to know um, other tips are you requesting other tips for me to talk about in my next series? Let me know. Or if you just want to, you know, make a comment, please do. I do respond to all comments. Um, again, if this was helpful, sorry, I keep saying that. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and share. All right, guys, it's been great. Have a great day. Bye-bye.